Welcome everyone, it's Stitchnology. Okay, so for today, we're going to learn how to create a parallax effect using PowerPoint. Now we have here the beautiful picture of the cat. We're going to do a parallax effect using PowerPoint. Okay, let's insert a text box. Let's type here, I love. Let's change the font style to six cups. And let's change the font size into 150. Then let's move the text, this part. Okay, so beautiful. Let's change the color of the text. And then let's insert okay, a shape here. Shape a line that will just cover. Okay. And then let's change the color of the line into white. And the weight it will be 6. Let's copy it, the bottom part. And now we're going to group this tree, Ctrl G. Okay, now we're going to insert. Okay, insert shape. Make sure that the shape will cover the whole picture. Okay, so now it covers the whole picture. Yeah, let's, let's put no outline. And then we're going to adjust the shape at the bottom part let's zoom up some out a bit let's change the color to this color okay, copy the whole text ctrl c the victory then let's put this in the middle okay good now let's change the words put cats so let's zoom out a bit let's put animation Okay, well before that, let's group this three. Let's group this three, Control G. Now we're going to put animation. Add animation, more option. Okay, it's up. Okay, so now we're going to adjust this circle. Let's make sure to cover the whole picture. Cover the whole picture, but not that much. Okay, beautiful now let's check okay so it covered the whole picture now we want this picture to move also so we're going to copy animation painter let's copy the animation in this part but we want this picture to move a bit slower so therefore we're going to open animation paint let's control this one okay so with previews so let's check okay so it's moving but we want to move it a bit slower therefore we're going to move the circle on this part okay so we control the button we make it just in the middle Okay, let's check so it will move a bit slower okay so that is good now what we're going to do is to copy the slides Control D and it will duplicate now in this second slide we need to ungroup the things that we group a while ago okay so ungroup let's make this and this uh, text group Control G this one and this one also Control G now this picture we're going to move this picture downward uh, let's zoom out a bit okay in this part now we're going to hold shift then click then we're going to move the two object the picture and the shape upward now we're going to ungroup this one again format uh, this part for we're going to ungroup this one again format and group now let's hold this this text box and this text box let's control g and that's a group now what we're going to do we're not going to waste time in putting another animation what we're going to do is we're going to copy the animation of the top part picture will be put here in the bottom part and the bottom part okay will be put here 
okay and the top part okay so maybe it's a bit confusing i'll just show you so we're going to copy the animation of this one let's proceed with animations copy now let's proceed here we're going to copy it in this one downward okay now the animation of the bottom part animation painter will be put in this part okay so this one let's check okay so we'll just stop like that huh? but what we're going to do is to move the bottom picture okay in the middle part now we're going to use format then center now we're going to check what will happen okay it's not moving because you know why it's not moving it is not starting with on previous we need to put with previous then let's check it again okay good so now let's check what will happen okay good so that will happen with our parallax okay how to create a parallax okay in reality you're not going to put the same picture this is just how you can create the parallax now we're going to copy the slides Control d and another Control d Okay, let's check what it looks like. Okay. Okay. Okay, so very good. So that is how you can create a parallax effect using PowerPoint to make a good presentation using your picture. Okay.